how's your relationship with your in-laws? Is it what you'll call great or is it rocky? You know what? Stay tuned. In this video, Sissy and I, we're going to share some stuff with you. <laughs> Hey, Blissful friends, welcome back to another episode of the Blissology Podcast. I am your host, Cece, and I'm joined by my hubby. Hey, everybody, this is Willem. Thank you for joining us today. We're glad to have you. If it's your first time tuning into this podcast, it is a weekly podcast where we talk about love, life, family, in laws, <laughs> relationship with. And laws. Yes, right. <laughs> and everything else that's happening around the world. Politics, you know, Some a of little stuff bit, too. a little bit of politics. Yes. Yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. Uh, for those of you who are OGs, as you know, before we get into the topic of the day, we like to share something we call a blissful moment. So what's your blissful moment, babe? Um, Easter. Yes, Easter. We actually went out and spent some time with some family. Yes, yes. It almost felt like pre-COVID. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, we, we were able to have dinner and from a well, distance yeah. we ate yes. some food like we normally yes. do. Yes. The kids got to spend it some time. And I know that's something we, we were looking forward to it. Yes. No, last Saturday we were looking forward to that. And obviously we made the best that we could actually turn out better and more enjoyable than I thought it would have. Yes, it was yeah. really fun. And um, church was fun. You know, we went to. You hadn't been in church for a year. Yes. A year and two weeks, I think. My parents will tell you a year and two months. No. <laughs> Actually, it was February 2020. That was the last time you went to church. I don't know about what you guys are talking about. <laughs> They're keeping so track. She, I'm not. She, she went to church after a year. And she enjoyed it. So I, I told you guys before, I missed the building. I missed the people. But as far as the the message, I do get it online. I do listen to the service online. And of course, I do have different um services that I listen to online. And I don't think I really miss that much. The people, the the community, yes, of course. And I think some were happy to see me also last Sunday, and I was very happy to see them. I wasn't happy to see you. Yeah, because we 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 here together. But I do notice that you were happy the fact that all four of us were in the car riding together to go to church. Yeah, it had been a while since I've been talking about over a year. Over since a year, we actually. Over had a, year. a moment, and they actually got up a lot earlier. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Easter. Six o'clock. No, Even before, before six o'clock because we yes. had to leave the house at six forty five ish. Yes, yes. And you know, it takes people like this some time to get ready. So yeah, I think five o'clock I got up and yeah, we went to church really early. Yes. It actually was like the first time ever we went to an Easter service at seven thirty. But it worked out. But it was it was good. What I really like about the fact that I went to church early, we were able to stop by, grab breakfast, and you know, get home, and still able to get Have some the rest. rest of the day to do a yes, lot. Yes, and get some rest and do some cooking for our gathering of my parents, and it was really fun. We had a lot of food, and I think that's the moment that we really look forward to. And the kids, you know, with the Easter eggs, my sister-in-law got them. It was really nice. We, she did a good job. I mean, she, she really did. went out and, she did. and got some she stuff. She did. I was really, <laughs> So yeah. kudos to you, Eve. Yes. But I wasn't feeling too well, and I wasn't able to really participate, participate, you know, like I usually do. You just put the eggs away yeah, for the kids I, to go yeah, find, and I you know. did. I know. I was feeling a bit crappy, but, you know, I, I, I was a lot better on Monday. But anyways, it was fun. And I think um, the fact that we were together as a family, you know, you were enjoying the playing dominoes with my dad and my yeah, brother. Yeah, I hadn't played dominoes in a while. In fact, I think we have a set of dominoes in the house. We should play this weekend. Maybe yeah. you'll teach me. 
I don't know how to play. Don't judge me. My it's I told my brother, it's all his fault. He didn't teach me how to play dominoes. I'm the only daughter. As a brother, you were supposed to teach your sister how to play dominoes. So it's mm. all your fault. And now I'm gonna put it on you because you're my husband. You know how to play dominoes. You should teach us, the girls, how to play dominoes. So this weekend, guys, we're gonna play some dominoes. So now, guys, yes. Let's get into the topic of the day. You know, I feel like we touch on so many other topics on this podcast. Not a whole lot yet, but we touch on topic like Relationship, relationships, getting, getting married, a, getting married, getting hitched. You, <laughs> how you lied to me <laughs> about a few things, you know, but we haven't really talked about our in-laws, you know. What about our in-laws? It's always a, a little scary meeting anyone the first time, especially if it's someone. How who's was gonna... it for you, baby, the first time? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, well, let's well, go. I'd... Let's go deep. Read a little bit more personal on our end. So let me ask you: How was it meeting my parents the well, first time? I met your parents before they were my in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> True, but you met them. You didn't know them like that. You were more like on a churchy level. Well, yes, but you know what? It, it wasn't. It wasn't the same as when you were meeting someone for the first time. Never met them before. Never knew who they were. Right. I knew who your parents were. Right. Before Based we on... got together, because we yes. attended the same church. We were in the same group. I interacted with them prior to me going to them and says, "Hey, I have your daughter." So, so it wasn't as scary or, or as as um as unpredictable. I mean, I knew they liked me. How'd you know that? I, I knew. I just knew. Oh my god! Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just say, you got lucky. Yes, and, and I must say, I must say, I, I I got lucky. Yes. Um, I didn't have to experience what most would have experienced, and it's been mm. eleven. Well, I've known them for fifteen some years 15 now. Fifteen plus years, yes. And it's been it's been a a, a very good relationship. Almost 18 years. Almost 18? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking 15. I lost count. Yeah, almost 18 but years. But it's, it's been a good a good relationship for us. And, and we're lucky. And I know not many couples can say this. Yes. Sometimes the relationship can be yes. quite rocky. I mean, there's I've heard cases where they don't talk. Right. They don't visit each other. Yes. You know, they literally cut the ties. Yes. So. Yes. But we can get around in, in, in any relationship, marriage, that there will be a number of issues. Right. And, and that, that you and your partner uh, will have to work through together. And Absolutely. the in-laws is usually something that come up. Yes. Not a it? few of us that are lucky that in-laws have not been an issue. Thank God. And, and you know what they said. <laughs> when you marry a person, you marry his or her family. So you got to consider... I'm marrying you and I'm marrying his whole family. Yes. And you, you got to take it. Now, that doesn't mean you have to accept everyone you, the way right, they are. But right, once you say yes, right. you're saying yes to them, to whoever you, 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 you're marrying, but also yes. to the crazy family sometimes. Yes. The crazy <laughs> holidays and the crazy uncomfortable moment that you feel like, okay, um, the tension's going to be there and you just not going to feel comfortable. Now, let me say this, um, as far as for me, when I first met your parents and uh, you didn't ask me what I'm just going to say, you know, <laughs> you were lucky. I mean, I think I can say the same thing, too. Yes. I don't think I had a hard time meeting your parents for the first time, although it wasn't like, you know, like you were um, with my parents, like you would see them because your parents would go to a different time. Um, you know, the, the service that they go to was like. At, it wasn't at the same yeah, time. Yeah, my parents go to the earlier So service. it wasn't really as hard for me. It was very comfortable. Your mom was welcome, very very warm and welcome me to the family and your dad also. Um, you know, although I feel like the relationship that I have with your mom is more like, you know, closer, of course, than your dad because that's your dad. Yeah, you um, don't want to be hanging out all over my dad. No, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I get jealous. <laughs> no, well, yes. But what I'm trying to say, there's like there's daughter in law with their father in law. They're very close because I know this girl that I used to work with a few years ago at the bank, and she will tell me that her and her father in law like very click. Like they she'll, hung out. Yes, like they're like and, and also the brother in law because um 
she is not married. It's her it's her sister who's married to that family. Yes. So she's okay. the one that's very comfortable with everyone. Okay. And I think it's just the family is so well, so friendly, and she she's able to do anything, you know, like she'll go out with the brother in law mm-hmm. and they'll just do I don't know. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying, because because they were very close, yes, but but yeah, I, I mean, I think your parents, your sister, everyone was really open arm and welcome to the family. Right. We we kind of were lucky in a way, so you know things happen, and I think you know God. I always say there's a reason why we are together. We very both very very similar. In terms of our sign is very also the very same. different. I must add that. Well, yeah, we, we we're different. You a dude, I'm a girl. <laughs> So well, I'm a woman. Yes. So yes. Yeah, so um. So what do you do, and how do you get along with people, like with the in laws that you feel like, oh my god, I can't be around certain people. But how is it for you though, when it comes to my brother? Were you guys like um click at the same like right away, or was it more like of a well? I think as as uh as I got to know you and and got to know your brother, I realized that we we had several things in common. Mm-hmm. But once we literally. Almost the same age. Yes. I'm like maybe six months older than he is. Yes. And and he very similar. He looks into technology stuff. He was into music. I I, I have yeah. some kind of passion for music. Um, yeah. So we find things to connect. But but I think in any of these relationships, it comes to going in with an open mind mm-hmm. and be able to accept whoever you going to deal with for who they are. Yeah. That's easier said than done, though. Right. Right. <laughs> it's so true. So um. Yeah, but I know dealing with in-laws can be yes. a challenge. Some in-laws have very strong opinions about yes. things. Like my mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. I and, know. And sometimes there are things that you may not you may not agree on. Yes. And sometimes it could be uncomfortable and many times it could even be offensive. <laughs> so it could be a real <laughs> challenge. Yes. Your mom is the type of person she very will tell you strong. how it is, which that's how she is. That's just and that's <laughs> the thing people have to understand. That's just how she is. And I know that there's certain things that you can't change the person just because. You know, yes, you may want to talk to that person and say, hey, there's certain things that you said to me. I didn't really like it. I didn't really appreciate it. But at the same time. But but this this is the one thing I'd say. Yes, your mom will tell her, but she will not say something that's not so. True. If she says something, it's It's because because it is is true. true. Yes. Yes. (laughs) You may not like it. It may seem like she's picking on you. Yes. It may seem like, geez, can't she leave me alone? But. (laughs) It, I mean, she's not like that with me, but it's I know your, your mom has a personality where she will tell you, she'll she, tell you. And believe me, it is true. When you look at it, yes, as much as you may not like it, what she tells you is true. Yes. Yes. Most <laughs> so, of the time. And and that's yes. how it is. Like if you take on, on the other, your dad, your dad's a joker. He yes. jokes about yes. stuff. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so. My dad is very know, laid back. Yeah. It, it's, it's in, in slightly different personality than my dad. Like my mm. dad would joke. But it it's from a, a different a, a different way, mm-hmm. and my dad you have to warm up with him to yeah. really get get to get to see who he is mm-hmm. from the get you. You would think that it's he's unapproachable, but he's not. <laughs> he does make it seem like though. Yes, yes. but but, but yes. Once, 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 once you know him, once you get you realize that right. he's it's okay to talk to him. <laughs> It does a bite. <laughs> yes. So, but 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 it comes down to really looking to understand the person. Right. Obviously, we've just listened. Now, my mom, on the other hand, is very relaxed. Yes. Um, she's not. She will tell you stuff, but she's not as as uh, straightforward as your mom. Right. <laughs> right. So so Justin, you see four different personalities mm-hmm. in the in laws, and you and I were different. I am. Um, um, in many ways, I'm I'm a pleaser in some ways, and it's like I think I'm changing a little bit. But I, I do. We're things, working on that. <laughs> I do I do many things because it's expected. Mm-hmm. And and when it comes to to going into maybe a relationship with my parents or your parents, I look to say, okay, how do I make the best of what we have? Right. In some ways. Um, you on the other end, you get emotional. Very. So so we 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 all different. Mm-hmm. But it's finding what can link us together, which is the relationship we have, and, and try to make the best of it in, in, in any way we can. 
support from your partner is important. Yes. Right? If something yes. happens, yes. Well, that's when you and yes. I we kind of figure it out and see how we can support right. each other. Right. Cuz and, and I think that's something that you got to show your love and compassionate like you know if your spouse is going through the emotional um roller coaster where she's she or he is not fit in and they don't really appreciate him as part of your family let's say you have because i know some family they if you dress a certain way or if you look a certain way they don't they don't welcome you as i know if family. i had dreads in my head you wouldn't be welcome in my <laughs> family no you would not my mom will really give me that's the part that's the that's the emotional roller coaster that I would go through like if you were that type of man with, you know, but locks and tattoos, and tattoos, and, yeah, yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah your mom will straight out ask me, "What is this?" That's on yes, your <laughs> but but the thing is though, it's just that I may not see what you have on the outside, but your inside. It's like you very, um, because sometimes when you love someone, you don't really see what's on the outside, right? But then it's like. Just like, that, just like that movie, I Love You, Anne, right? Yeah. So she was really in love with him, but then because the dad didn't like him for how he was or how he looked, he kind of gave her a hard time. So, mm -hmm. yes, that's something that you have to definitely... And, and as a couple, and this yeah. is where the support comes in. You, you have to be able to speak with your partner on what the challenges are. And sometimes... The, the child of the parent is causing the the commotion mm -hmm. can help you know smooth out the relationship can, right. can maybe help the parents understand now they may never understand right but at least find a way to see what you can do to patch it because mm -hmm. sometimes you find if you don't give 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 someone at least the opportunity to know who they are you can completely misjudge them it yeah. could be the best person there is but you 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 label them based on the first impression or the mm -hmm. way they look, you never get to see who they are. So right. that's where the, the, the support of the partner can really help, mm -hmm. help the parents understand, but also help the spouse understand why right. <laughs> this is right. coming through like this. Because there are certain things our parents are used to. I'll tell you, there are certain ways if you had shown up at my house, as nice as my mom may be, yes. she may not have, well, she may have, given you, she may have given you the smile while you were there. But then but behind my it back, you'll be like, where'd you get this girl from? <laughs> you know, she's all over my house. She's all over my couch. Yes. So, and, and this is what we have. I know love is blind. And when you love someone, you can look beyond the physical. Mm -hmm. But you do have to know who you're bringing home and what right. your parents expect. Because there may be someone you love, you bring them home. You can know right from the get-go, this person is going to have a hard time. There's you no doubt. You kind of like, I feel like it'll be best for you to let that person know. Listen, and prep them. <laughs> right. This is what's going to happen. I love you, but expect to be, you know, expect to get a lot of beating from my parents because they're not going to like you. Yeah, that, that's not, they're not used to that stuff. They're not used to that stuff. And, and it is what it is. And be there to support you. You know, when 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 the comments are being made, at least jump in for your partner. Because you know, if I meet your parents, there may be ways that I cannot conversate with them mm -hmm. to kind of get them in their place. If they were saying something or right. not, because yes, right. there are things that I may say I may never go back to the house. Right. <laughs> but you, as a child, you can as as their child, you right. can jump in and kind of say, "Hey, mom, that's not nice. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> that's not nice." <laughs> You can say that. I mean, you have a relationship with your parents. I don't. You do know who we're talking about, right? No, I'm, I'm talking about my not, mom. It's not easy to tell my <laughs> mom. Not even my dad. My dad, he can understand. My mom, for you to tell my mom, it's not nice to talk to him like this. She's gonna look at you and say, "I'm grown. <laughs> I'm your mother. You don't this talk is my to house. me." I this just is my, say exactly. Well. But but if you jump in like this. It at least gives your partner a leg to stand on. Right. Because your partner can't say this because if I were to go and say at your parents in a discussion having and I go in and really hit them back, they'll probably ask me, hey, leave my house. They will actually. <laughs> my dad will put his foot down and say, leave my house right now. <laughs> and rightfully so they would because I go right. to that place and disrespect them. So. And I think one thing I did appreciate too when we were dating, um, you would come by the house and you would either sit at you know, outside the front porch and where my dad can see you and it's not 
that's uh, one thing that when I would go to your mom's house, also I would, you know. Yes, and and this is where when 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 you're dating someone, you you have you have to try to understand their parents and know what's respectful because there are things like even if I, wherever I go to your house, I just go inside your room and we messing we're messing around in there. Well, first they won't respect me, and they think I'm disrespecting them because I shouldn't be going to the house and doing that stuff. And what do you think I feel about me? Oh yeah, <laughs> they probably beat you up. <laughs> they probably would not welcome in the second time, and I'm sure yes. you probably would get the talk, right? Yeah. So you you have to know your you have to know your limit. Is um uh, when you're dealing with uh, parents, yes, there are things that you may do away from the parents, mm-hmm. but there's a certain level of respect you must have, right, for both your parents and the parents of the person that you are um dating yeah. or courting. Yes. Yes. And I think um, that's definitely important. And it's don't wait for them to change. <laughs> they may never change. They may never change. You know, although it may be tempting to wish that your in-laws be to become easier, you know, more comfortable and able for you to have a conversation with them in a lot more comfortable ways. If they're not that type of person that's going to change, it's just, it is what it is, right? Yes, it, it is what it, it, is, is, what it but is, but sometimes it's good to maybe look to understand where they're coming from. Don't have from. high expectations, high hopes. Yes, <laughs> uh, change, don't expect them to change. However, you can you can, you can can look to see, maybe try to understand why right. they are the way they are. Because eventually you'll have to accept them. If, they, if, they, if they're never going to change... Mm-hmm. Cause whether you like it or not, if you if you wish to stay with their child for a long term, they will be part of your family. Yes, you may not be at the house all the time, but they're still part of your family. So seek to understand where they're coming from. Yes, and maybe where you see your yeah. grandkids once a year for Christmas or every Thanksgiving. Because <laughs> there's there's people out there that's like that mm-hmm. where they don't have that relationship with their in laws, where you only get to see. Or the the in law only get to see their kids, their grandkids, like once a year, or sometimes yeah. never. It's very unfortunate. It though. is very I think unfortunate. The, the, the child's are missing out, and that's where, as as parents, we we have to look for ways to build relationship. And I think too, there's you have to do it for your children. Well, yes. Not if you don't get along with your in laws, but at least let them see their grandkids, um, where they're able to spend time with them, because. God forbid something happened. They're going to say, was, you know, how come I never spend time with my grandma or my it's, grandpa? It's their fault. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to change. <laughs> yes. It, and, you know, the, the change, the people changing things, sometimes it's, it's an expectations that we set that's unreal. Yes. Unreal because people are there and they are the way they are because of sometimes it's experience, sometimes it's culture, sometimes it's, it's family dynamics. Mm-hmm. There's a number of reasons that cause them to be the way they are. Now, I'm not talking about someone who's abusive. Mm-hmm. If someone's abusive, then hey, you, right. you don't need to be. Right. But sometimes it's just that what you believe in is different than what I believe in. Yeah. And if it's, if it's a matter of beliefs, if you understand why they're like this, I don't have to agree with you, but I understand. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to not have a relationship with you. We may not be engaged in deeper conversation where we will conflict. We'll just keep the conversation on a high, on a, on a very low level. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like if I know you're big on politics, we'll never talk politics. We'll talk about gardening when, when I come to your house. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, you if, know, there's some there's some in laws are like so uncomfortable having like any type of conversation with their with their daughter in law. Or their son-in-law. Yes, there there are some. You know, like for instance, if I could th- if I could remember the the movie Meet the Fuckers, <laughs> right? Can you imagine? Can you imagine having an like an in-law that's like will do whatever it takes to break your relationship, your marriage? They didn't want you. So it's just like the most difficult thing for any human being to go through. Yes, but life is difficult, so you run into this challenge is find ways to mm-hmm. deal with it not run away from it not disconnect from the rest of it there's yes. always a way yes. you have to be willing to look for that way you have to and i think when it comes to building relationship you have to do whatever you can mm-hmm. now sometimes you're going to fail at a few tactics but try different ones but if you and i were in a relationship we know that there's some conflict 
you know, and dealing with our parents. Right. I know I'll do whatever I can on my end to mm-hmm. see what I can do to patch it. And you'll do the same thing. Right. Because at the end of the day, we all belong to each other. Mm-hmm. We, we we have a relationship and we have to have one. Now, it may not be the best, but I'd like to know that if 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 I if I if I'm in a place and you there, I can at least walk up to you and say hi to you and ask you how you doing and not try to avoid you. Right, right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, and no, I'm not gonna come to your house every day and so forth. No, I, I, it doesn't have to be that relationship, but you have to have somewhat of a relationship. Right. Or mm-hmm. if I'm stranded, I can maybe call you for help. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah. It depends on my mood. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the, the parents. Yeah, I can yeah, just call, call call you for help. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. And I think um, that is so true. That is so important because I can see some parents like, uh, I don't. <laughs> Uh, another thing is, don't judge yourself or your partner. <laughs> that is so true. Yes. Right? Uh, if you're not crazy about your in-laws, you know, take comfort in knowing that you are not alone. Actually, does liking your in-laws mm-hmm. is more common than you think. Yeah. Now, we're fortunate enough to have good relationship with our in-laws. Right. But there's a lot of people out there that are not getting along with their in-laws. Mm-hmm. So take comfort that sometimes these, are, these types of relationships can be rocky yeah you know um after all you fall in love with your partner and 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 you're committed to them right and you're committed to them alone if you're in a relationship where you just cannot get along with your in-laws if you don't have to have a relationship i mean i'm talking about where it's abusive where it's like really toxic there's nothing that says you must stay in a toxic relationship as long as you and your partner you agree you know what what's best for the family is Mm -hmm. to be a part, then let it be. That way we all, because if we're not at peace, it's it's just going to destroy, you know, one of us. Yes. Who wants to be in a relationship where it's constant fighting? Right, because peace is so important. And I truly believe that if you are in a, if you are like not able to um, sleep at night and you constantly battling, you constantly crying at night because your in-law don't like you then most likely if your husband don't put your don't put his foot down and say you know what babe you matter to me <laughs> and i'm taking you away we're gonna go somewhere where it's just the two of us in our own little family so yes peace is so important i yes. listen i mean as as um as insensitive and you know, not family like or not relationship like it may sound sometimes that's the best thing to do because mm-hmm. there are some people, unfortunately, in this world, you just cannot get along with. And yeah. just being around them <laughs> is insane. Yes. So part ways. Unfortunately. You know, and, and don't blame your partner for the way the families are because they have nothing to do with it mm-hmm. many of the time. Now, we all have to know our roles. Right. You know what? Something happened to you or to me. This is not when I, cr- I run home and start because sometimes... Partners can be the reason why the relationship with the in-laws don't work. Because if everything that happens within our household, mm-hmm. I run home and tell my mom, hey, she's not feeding me. <laughs> my mom's going to think, my son, I've always fed him when he was home. You're a bad wife. True. Or if one day I happen to roll on you, and you, <laughs> <laughs> you run to your mom and says, I did something wrong. She's going to take your side. And and so and you're trying find, to say that you don't always have to involve your parents in your no there there are things that happens in the household we resolved it within the household because mm-hmm. imagine something bad happens to you I did something and you're really unhappy and you go you tell your mom how bad I am and uh, now some in laws are great they will tell you go back to your man right. and fix it right. But some will sit there and they'll listen and they'll they'll they'll, they'll chime in and they'll pitch in. Yeah, I, I I've always thought this this guy had some issues. And before you know it, they create that image in their mind that mm-hmm. I'm growing horns and I have a pitchfork, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> and and that in itself cre- start making them dislike who I am. Mm-hmm. Now. You know, when something happens to someone, you go tell someone about it. You tend to add colors. You add, oh, yeah, you add, you add your, stuff to make it seem like it's not spices. you. Sometimes it could have been your fault. Right. But when you go tell your parents, you don't. You will not make it seem like your fault because you want them to support you. It's true. The same thing. And now I won't do it. But if, if everything that happens between you and I, I go to my mom 
And I complain that my mom's a type. She's going to tell me to go back and fix it with your wife. And your mom will do the same thing. But if she sits there and she listens to me and she take my side and she's like, man, I always knew that girl had issues. <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to like you. Right. Next time she sees you, she's probably going to watch So, so as partners, we have a real, mm-hmm. a, a responsibility to not cause issues between your spouse and your parents. Mm-hmm. So there are things that your parents don't need to know. Fix it with your husband or your wife. True. Yes. True. Because if you in there, now, if your husband or your wife, if, if you're beating me up, I'm running home. <laughs> if you're beating me up, I'm running home. I think it's more like. And yes, my mom will take it out on you. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? If I beat you up? Yes. Yeah, you're probably going to run home. Actually, you're definitely going to run home. And, and I will take the girls And your dad me. will probably come here with um, <laughs> his machete. I don't know, whatever tools he's got. <laughs> but yes, that's me saying that if you're, in a, if you're in an abusive situation, don't sit there and try to resolve it. Sometimes you need to have mm-hmm. outside interference. Yes. But if it's like maybe disagreements, maybe you did something I don't like, maybe I blow something up, maybe I did something crazy, we'll find ways to resolve it. Yeah. You know, sometimes there are issues that happen. Instead of going to your parents, go to therapy. Mm-hmm. Go see a professional. They'll help you work your issues out. Because our parents are not therapists. Uh, no. Because you know they're going to take either take your side or they just not going to yeah. tell you something that you want to hear. And you got to think of it. You're their child. Mm-hmm. No parents wants to see their children suffer. And some of it may not be physical. So you go to your parents. I said something wrong to you. You started crying. You run to your mom crying. Mm-hmm. She going to take your side. Of course. <laughs> of course. So, yes, there are things that you do not need to involve your parents in. And that goes for both ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Leave your parents out of it. You yes. know, when you said you do to your wife or your husband... You're saying that I'm grown. There's some issues I can handle mm-hmm. on my own. Right. If I can't handle it, I need help. I will seek professional help. If you beat me up, I run to my parents. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. You hey. beat me up, and that's where you'll find me. Yeah. In my in my room at my mom's house. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But you know. One last thing I'll say, it's it's very important to be realistic. Don't find yourself living in a fantasy world. You expect all the the things that you've seen in the movies. You have mm-hmm. the, the easiest, the, the easiest. Oh, there's certain things you expect your in-laws to do. Right. Like you keep dropping kids and you expect your in-laws to babysit them. Don't drop them. My mom. Have a life. <laughs> my mom, my dad will tell you <laughs> flat out, I'm not going to be home this weekend. So... It's interesting to know that, you know, like like we said from the beginning, um, we are, our in-laws are very flexible. Yes, they and are. And, and we're grateful for that. We're very grateful. And I know one thing was my parents, you got to make sure you check with them before you drop the girls at their house because they like to go out. They're not the type of in-law that stays home. But your mom is a little bit different. Yeah, my mom's on, on her day off. Uh, most likely you may find, but still you got to check because there's been a couple of cases that I'm like, hey, can yes. I drop the kids off? And, yes. It's and, just and, like, and it, it gets to the point where I'll wait on the day off or maybe like the, right the day before to let her know. Um, because I know typically she would be home. Right. Your parents is different. You got to play with them ahead of time <laughs> because they tend to play. Especially my things. dad. They like to go out, okay? <laughs> yes. but and, and this is where, now we're fortunate to have that, but there's many people that do not have, like for instance, both of our parents work. Mm-hmm. We can't expect them to watch our kids full right. time. Right. right. Right? Yes, on a weekend they'll watch them, but we can't expect to like, not send the kids we couldn't not send the kids to daycare and right. have them be no mm-hmm. that, that wouldn't happen <laughs> yes. yes so so have realistic expectations don't go and start having kids thinking that you know from the age six weeks to three years old mm-hmm. that you're gonna have parents sitting there watching your kids no now if you're lucky enough to have someone who could do it for you that's great mm-hmm. you'll save a whole lot of money Woo! you will save a lot of of money but don't expect that they'll always be there if you don't then just suck it up and put your kids in daycare yes yes <laughs> right or if, if it's where you're going on vacation plan vacation where you can take your kids with you because mm-hmm. there's expectation if you set them and they, they you you 
can't you can't get it or the in-laws can't fulfill that expectations you get disappointed so that's why you have to be real Plan your life based on what you can do, not based on what you ex- you expect others to do for you. But right, I think many of us, right. we expect so much for, from our in-laws that when they don't deliver, we think they're bad. No, they have a life to live yes. on their own. And I think to stop comparing, um, let's say if you were in a previous relationship with someone, either if you were married before or dating someone before, just don't compare that the in-laws that you have prior we're a lot more comfortable with that. You were a lot more comfortable with this, with this, you know, with your mother-in-law or whatever, your sister-in-law. But now because you are in a re- different one, you feel like, okay, this should have been the same as the one that you had prior. Cause I know I've, I'm, I've seen people who had, you know, whether if they were engaged or if they were married before and that relationship was a lot different. And then because now there are in a, you know, a new relationship, they feel like, oh, you know, I was so and so is not like so and so. Right. I was expecting that you were this type of in law that I could have been so more so comfortable with you. But no. Don't compare your old in laws with the new one because everyone different. is different. So that's very important too. People are different. Like I am I'm bad at keeping in touch with people. Yes. Right? Very, very bad. Very bad. You know that. I'm I'm bad. I'm just it's, I'm just, just glad me. that I you're have, doing so much better with your mom. Like I, I have you nothing know. against anyone, but I'm bad at picking that's up. That's just the your phone nature. And, that's just how just who you are. Yes. But on the other hand, like me, I'm like different. I'm constantly on the phone with my mom. And I uh, and I'm glad also to have my husband who don't see it as an issue because some husband will see it where you know why it constantly what have you to think? call. I'm about to cut off the phone line. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> some some in law, some you know, like um, daughter in law, or they would have issues where why you constantly on the phone with your mom, or why you constantly on the phone with you know. I don't think you talk to dad as much, but I I really think that having that relationship is also important. Were you able to talk to your parents without having that? issue with where your spouse or thing that it's an issue that you can't that you talk to your mom too and, much and, and this is where it's it's very important to understand each other mm-hmm. you were always like this was your parents even before i was in the picture right that's the thing that people don't understand you know like if your mom or your dad your mom your sister says something to you if they ask for something who am i to say no because that's your mom if your mom says hey well i want you to come by the house and fix something for me and of course, you let me know, right? There's nothing wrong with you letting your spouse, your wife know, hey, babe, I'm going over at my mom's house or my parents' house to check something for them because you can't say that you always there or you constantly fixing things, right? So aren't, you have to be able to understand that his mom, if it wasn't for his mom, he wouldn't marry me he wouldn't have been here you're right so a lot of times we felt to look at the fact that the mother really have a major important role in your spouse life whether if you like it now, or not now if i if i'm hanging at my at my mom's every day i'm eating there every well, day no, i barely different. come home. no no <laughs> we like no that's different i don't have any problem you, you know go there. I, I have to stop by my mom's from work before I come home and I would stay there like a couple of hours every day. Why Sometimes I sleep over. <laughs> you don't, you don't have a wife, you know, unless, unless yes, you that, don't have a wife. That would be highly unacceptable. You don't and have a wife. So. I mean, there's nothing wrong. We stop by every now and then, like twice a week. I have no problem with you, you know, stop by to see how she's doing or. No, I ain't hanging on my parents. Hanging around. You know, I like, eat there when I get home. You're like, baby, I cook some food. Too. I'm like, no, I, I, I don't. I don't want. I, I eat at my mom's already. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's also this time where you're married to a mama's boy where you, okay, that's going to be, I'm going to leave that for the next topic. For another, for another topic? For another <laughs> whole 45 minutes of a podcast because that's like a whole major issue, especially in our community. If okay. You're married to a mama's when, boy. when you marry someone who's constantly, constantly. On mama? Yes. Yes. Anyway. But it is so true. Um, where you have a home, you have a wife, <laughs> you know, 
I don't think your mom would want you to spend that much time at her place. She would feel a certain way. Like, okay, where's your wife? <laughs> why isn't she, yeah. why isn't she, you know, um, why aren't you at your house? Why aren't you with your, with your wife? So what's going on? Cause it's funny that I say that your mom I had, remember last time when you dropped the kids over there? What did you do? And then she recall. called me and says, um, cause like, I was like, are yeah. we okay? <laughs> She's like, are we okay? Are you guys okay? Cause it was so funny. It was so funny. She called me and I was home doing something. I didn't get a chance to go over there. It was just my husband and the girls. And she literally called me and said, and, and see if I was okay. Although I told her that we were getting it. it was nothing. <laughs> she still went and called you. But you know what? That, that's that's a caring parent. She yes. didn't want me to just try to run and then get, grab the kids and says, I can't stand your woman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand your woman. <laughs> hey, you know what? Relationship with in-laws can be rocky. We we maybe one of the few who's got a good mm-hmm. relationship with our parents yes. and, and and we're blessed for that. Mm-hmm. And if you find yourself in a relationship where it's rocky with, with your in-laws, you know, if you, there's anything you can do to patch it up, I'd say the number one thing, try to seek to understand where they're coming from. Yes. Leverage your partner to help you patch that relationship. Now, at yes. the end of the day, if it's a relationship that's not going to mm-hmm. work, don't feel too bad if you're not in a relationship because sometimes mm-hmm. it just doesn't work. You're too right. different. Your views are too different. And if you have to part ways and at least be be away from each other so you're not constantly getting on each other's nerves, yes. it's okay. But don't hate each other. Because mm-hmm. um, I bet you it may not be working right now, but people do change over time. Mm-hmm. In a year from now, you may become best friend. In two years and 10 years from now, now just, just be available that if things are changing, that you change with it. Right. And people do change. I can't be even begin to tell you how many times someone was a certain way mm-hmm. in a few years gone by or they had an experience. Right, right, <laughs> and they right, right. So if you're in a relationship, things are not working, yes, it's okay to keep your distance. However, be flexible. Yes. Because remember, once someone's part of your family, because although you may be away, say, for instance, if it was us, we're in a, in a relationship where we had issues. Mm-hmm. Yes, you it'll be tough for you to be away from your parents, but they're right. still your parents. Exactly. Which means there'll be time where you'll have to get with them. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, but hey, listen, I appreciate all of you guys joining us today while we talk about in-laws relationship. Mm-hmm. I know it's, uh, it's a difficult topic. Obviously, we've shared some stuff with you. I'm sure there's a whole lot more out there that, yes. that, that are involved when dealing with in-laws because those could be very, very complex mm-hmm. relationship. Mm-hmm. So um, again, thank you for sticking with us. Yes. We appreciate you. Yes. And we are blessed. Yes. <laughs> so, and highly favor. Again, if it's your first time with us today, remember to subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we put out these videos. Yes. And tell your friends, family, share these videos with them. We appreciate you. And keep checking in with us every Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, rather. Yes. 1215. We'll see you next time. Next time. Peace. Bye.